Hey, this is Bruce again. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, stiffness in direct drive mounts. So this is our uh, direct drive mount with the D11 drive unit, 11 newton meter continuous rating, and then D21 drive unit on the bottom, 21 newton meter continuous rating. Now that's just the rating based on the manufacturer's thermal characteristics, the the maximum temperature heat dissipation capability. The limits that uh, we're going to be set are really based on the current limit that we program into the drive controller. And uh, I just want to demonstrate for you the idea that these things actually are pretty stiff. I mean, other companies may be not using a drive that has as much current capability, but the static drive. So I'm going to pull on this and show you that there's a breakaway torque and then it recovers. I can push it and it'll recover to position. And same thing in RA or declination recovers to, to drive position. And I want to show you, I'm going to use a little spring scale here, a legged scale, and I'm going to show you how much force. And I'll do a close up here, but I'm going to pull 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 12 pounds. So over this distance, it takes about 12 pounds of force to get to breakaway. And before at breakaway point, the servo loop is still in control. I mean, it's still it's fully closed. Once you pass breakaway torque, you hit the torque limit, and the torque limiter is turned on, and the control loop now is torque limited, it's not going to be position limited. But I can sit here and I can hold it, and it will push against me, right? I can feel it, and then I release it, and it'll come back into control to the commanded position and velocity. So let me do one here on the declination axis. I'll start up here. It's a little bit smaller motor, and it's uh, also about 12 pounds of force to get to breakaway. And the breakaway is pretty safe, you know, I can, I can push on it and hold it and it's pushing back. It's driving a fairly high current, but you'll see that in the current monitor. And up until that point, while I'm just pushing on it, it's stiff, right? it's not moving at all. And you can, if you listen carefully, you can kind of hear the motors working. So I'll do, I'll do a close-up so you'll be able to see the spring scale. Okay. Okay. Put the other way. A little more that way. Here. Yeah, about 18 pounds there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on the mount using the same scale, same scale as before, in the right ascension. And I'm going to show you how accurately the mount can track while I'm pulling on it, and I'm pulling on it not very steadily. And the way you can keep track of that, so this is our right ascension and declination that's pointed north, more or less. So keep an eye on that. This is the, the commanded guide speed, which is sidereal. That's ticks per second, and that's arc seconds per second. Now, this cumulative error in arc seconds, from the time I click this precision guide button, that is the total accumulated error in the, the desired position on the sky versus the, the position calculated from the encoders, the actual position, not the speed, the position. So that's the total error as if we were tracking. So we want to watch that one. And this is the current. Right now we're drawing 0.56 amps normally in right ascension and 0.3 in declination. And as you pull, you'll see that will go up quite a bit as the motor is fighting back against the force. So I'm going to start pulling, and then you can watch those, and we'll see. We'll see how well it does, and we'll see it at breakaway, and then it'll recover. Okay. All right, so now... I've got it hooked on, and I'm just sitting here with it in my hand. Okay, so now I'm going to pull, and I'm going to try to hold it at about 2 pounds. So I'm trying to hold around 2 pounds. It's around 4. I'm trying to hold it steady. About 5 pounds. It's kind of hard to hold it steady. 7 pounds. 10 pounds, still hasn't broke, oh, and then it just broke away. 
Okay, and now it's back. Now let's see. So you can see here, it's gone back, it's recovered to the exact position it should be tracking to after that big event. So it had that big upset, but it exactly recovered to where it's supposed to be.